welcome to Setter's Place. Today's video is the Make Nine Project, my first Make Nine Project, and it was the hanging basket. So I'm going to show you what I came up with. Um, like I said in the other video, I did one basket and I wasn't quite happy with it. It wasn't what I was expecting. So I did another one in a different yarn with a bigger hook and everything and a different pattern. And um, so I'm going to show you both of them. The first one I did was this one. And it's harder to see because it's not full, but <laughs> the hanging basket. And I used this yarn. I still have my ends to sew in. <laughs> and um, I used Burnett Beyond. And this is the color Gray Scale Variegated. I think I got this when I was at, it was a Tuesday morning. It was on, and they were like a dollar, it was a dollar 99. I got a bunch of these, I think two or three, or three or four. <laughs> and um, so that's what I made the first time. But it wasn't as big as I wanted. I wanted a bigger one and, um, and everything. I'm trying to remember what pattern I used for this one. Um, I can't remember the pattern for this one. If I if I remember, I'll put it down and I'll have the small hanging basket in the description box if I remember the tutorial. But the one I did with a different... I know this one. I'll have that one linked down below. I used this one. It came out much bigger, which is what I was wanting. And um, I did change it a little bit because it had she had uh, doing the back loop only on the whole project and I'm not fond of doing that I like the way it looks I just don't like to do it <laughs> so I did the the uh, front loop only and got a few ridges here and there but I basically just did regular double crochets and then um so I have the opening and that's the more of the size I was wanting for the first one and um so it came out well I think it came out pretty good and I use this is all I have left from two um and this was wool ease thick and quick and i don't have the label i'm not sure what i did with the label so i'm showing you one of of a different yarn color so it's the same wool ease quick and thick but this one is called purple martin so um but i wanted to show you the label of this one now y'all get this is a sneak peek for one of my other make nines and you'll see what this is going to be later <laughs> So, so it took two of those to make this one and this much left over. And, uh, but yeah, and what I'm doing with mine, the reason I want these, and I want to make some more, but, uh, you know, as time goes, I wanted them to put all my hat, hats and my neck warmers in. So I had to stick them in there. And I'll have a that can just hang it on the doorknob or on the dresser knob. And I just took all my hats in here. And then I can just, you know, pull it out as I need one. So that is what mine is for. And the, the small one I'm using for my gloves. <laughs> and, uh, and my awesome gloves from Lenore. I'll be wearing them, y'all, from Wild Woolies Studio in Canada. She made these for me. They're felted, and they are awesome. <laughs> oh, and if some of you had asked about the pattern for these mittens, um, she put. I asked her if she wanted to put her pattern for the mittens on my website because we're kind of like we're collaborating on my website. So there's some of her things on there, her patterns. And um, for felted slippers, felted the mittens, and um, things like that. She has an awesome felted purse on there. I want to try to make that too. And um, so if you're interested in the pattern for for these, they are on my website. And it'll be linked down below, setisplace.com. <laughs> so these are where I keep them. And I just pull out what I need for my gloves. And the other one is my hat and neck warmers and then i'll um 
then I'll make another one or maybe two or three <laughs> for all my scarves and hats and stuff. And I can hang them and just pull out what I need. So that is uh, my first Make 9 project. I think it came out good. <laughs> so my next one is, um, I'll put the picture up right here. <laughs> and I'm going to be working on that sometime next, well, it's already next month, it's already February. <laughs> so I plan on working on that here in the next few weeks. I'll keep you updated. I'll let you know what yarn I'm using and everything. Um, I might do a work in progress and show you how it's going and then come back with the finished object. I don't know. It kind of depends on how I'm feeling. So, um, but that is what I'm going to be making for the next one. So I'm glad some of you are joining in. And uh, don't forget to send me pictures or fo uh, post on my Facebook group or my Instagram. Because I would love to see them. Oh, on Instagram, if you make do the make nine list um, or and you want to you want to show me on Instagram, I'm doing hashtag make nine twenty twenty. I think that's what I I'll, I'll put it across here or in the description box to make sure I, it's because it has to be exact. And um, and the same thing for the calendar cow is I have a hashtag calendar cow 2020 and it's all small letters calendar cow 2020. But I'll do that on that video to remind y'all. Um, so anyway, and also I wanted to do a couple of shout outs. I haven't done any in a while, um, but I found two new people. <laughs> if y'all want to check them out. Um, one is Unchained Crochet. And her name is Jen. Yeah, <laughs> make sure I said it right. And y'all check her out. Um, she's only got, I think, like a hundred. She, she has like a hundred, a little over a hundred, something like that, people. Um, so y'all go check her out. I think she's the one who has a hundred. But anyway, y'all go check her out. She's super cool. <laughs> and I love the... Um, she makes uh, like these awesome shawl, cape, cardigan type things. And they're really cool. So I'm definitely going to be looking at that to make one of hers. And um, so y'all check her out. And then there's Kim's Crochet and Knits. Um, I believe, if I, if I remember right, she just made a thousand subscribers, I think. I might be getting people mixed up, <laughs> but y'all check her out too. Um, help her, you know, continue, help both of them to continue to get more people and join them into the Yarny community. And um, like I say, you know, of course y'all might already know because <laughs> I'm usually the one kind of like on the back end of, you know, finding out stuff. <laughs> so if y'all already know, oh, know them, awesome. If you don't, go check them out. Um, but anyway, so that is it for today. I will talk to you all later and have a blessed day. Mm -hmm.